view of them yet I can just see the female coming in now with them and hopefully they are going to come onto the road at some point and we'll be able to see the little ones there they come look at how cute they are <laughs> hello little ones <laughs> oh you gotta say hello to the little <laughs> Oh, they're so cute, but yes, there's only two of them left, unfortunately, but it's so, so sweet when you see them, and I love how playful they are. Look, they, mom is taking them to meet, and got to come and see what meat is, and come and check it out, and this will, even though it is, you know, they've probably fed on meat before, it's still a newish thing, and so mom has to guide them to it, and make 100% sure they know what's going on, but how cool is that? Aren't they the sweetest little things? Look, and look how hungry they are. They're diving into that meat as quick as they can and feeding and trying to get as much food in and try and kind of get it all down you think that they've never eaten before even though they're so fluffy and full of food already look at the size of their tummies it's not like they're starving but you would swear they are the way that they're going at that carcass which is super cool it's you can see mom is already fed though she had a really good meal before she went and fetched them it's amazing how far she has walked this morning already she was seen very early this morning i believe around gauri main triple m now if you work out where that is from where we are now it is very far away and i don't even know if that's where she was sort of got them or if she already had started walking with these little ones a while ago but she's definitely walked a very long distance and that meant that these little ones must be quite hungry and quite tired by now because they've had to go a long way in this horrible cold weather and so I'm sure they want to fill themselves up and make sure they get lots of food but how cool is that and it's perfect just to see the little ones go and so they're going to feed and they're going to try and get as much food into those little bellies as possible and what I'm hoping is mom is going to lie on the road with the sub adults and then once these little ones are done then they might be able to come and sit on the road and suckle Nancy you say thanks mom this day is awesome I'm sure they are saying thanks mom a little fresh kudu must be quite pleasant I would imagine that it's a nice meal on a cold day like this when it's been freezing just to kind of get everything nice and warm again and they'll obviously be trying to kind of get as much nutrients as possible just to kind of keep those bodies in good condition and, and try and keep the amount of food or amount of heat up as little ones I'm sure they're going to have a good cuddle with mom though at some point today Becca, funny enough, no, it's quite interesting how tolerant the adults are over these tiny little cubs. They very seldom are in any way aggressive what, um, and, and, and really are quite nice to the cubs when they're still tiny like this. When they get a little bit older, then yes, the females can be quite aggressive. But there is a sub-adult that's coming in now. Now, sub-adults is a different story. As an older sibling, you have the right to bully your younger siblings, and, and they might get a little bit bullied on this carcass. The nice thing is that it is quite a big carcass, and it's quite spread out, and that means that they're going to be able to kind of find a place to feed, and everyone's going to be all right, and, and, and kind of have their own little space. Also, the thing is with cubs is that they don't take up much room at the carcass itself. They only take up a little bit. Well, there goes little cub is going to go onto the road hello little one <laughs> look how cute that is <laughs> wait for me mom I'm <laughs> uh, that's awesome I like that they are the sweetest little things when they're this small there's nothing like little lion cubs and obviously that one has decided I would rather have a situation where I suckle from mom and get some milk rather than going all the way and getting some cold meat and away from mom at least with mom there's a bit of a body heat that develops while they're suckling as well although that little one is still in there it's on top of the carcass now and is having an absolute thorough feed look at that little back backside it is tiny 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 in comparison to the sub adults it just gives you an idea of how big those the size of the sub adults it's amazing that the the little ones are as small as they are if you think that that one on the right was that size just over a year ago is pretty insane now Megan all the way from Louisiana you say these this is just so stinking cute they are very cute they are incredibly cute little animals they and and especially little cubs are lion cubs I don't know why, what it is about them they are the sweetest things they got these tiny little faces and they kind of 
bounce around all over the show and flop around and fall over things and they really are the sweetest thing and then when they interact with the pride it's always wonderful to watch because you see them kind of getting to play a little bit with their sub adults and there's a bit of swatting that goes on and a bit of growling and carrying on and they're talking is the best part i love the way that little ones squeak and make a lot of noise it's super cute and i was watching a sighting that brent had the other day where he's that black rock pride which is just phenomenal that pride has just got so many little ones these days and they were all over the place playing with sausage fruit and trees and it's just the cutest thing when you get a lot of little cubs together and so hopefully these little ones will survive and grow up and then we'll have a situation in sometime soon where we get a number of females all having cubs again and we'll have a similar situation to that black rock pride. It's going to be interesting to see what the Nkumas do is whether or not they stay together or if there's going to be a split. At the end of the day, well, here comes the little ones again being chased by the adult, the sub-adults. So you can see lots of games that take place. Come on, you're coming here. <laughs> And the older siblings do this a lot. It's just part and parcel of being a youngster. You unfortunately have to deal with the older ones and have to get played around with and tackled and it all toughens them up for later in life. It can be a, sometimes a problem in that the older siblings can sometimes be a little too rough with the young ones and, and it has been reported that there have been cases where little ones have been killed. But these little ones have been with this pride a few times now. It's not the first time that we're seeing these Inkahumas with the rest of this pride and well the little cubs with the rest of the pride they have been introduced before and so you know if they have been introduced before and they've have spent a lot of time with these sub adults then everything is okay. They they won't end up hurting them. They know to be quite gentle and you'll find if mom is happy with the little ones playing around with them then it's all okay and it generally is quite gentle. It's just a few little trip ups here and a little bite here and there. I mean, nothing too major but they're looking healthy aren't they they're looking fat and full and as though they've really had a good time becca mom's milk is 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 probably new, more nutritious than this meat it'll have a lot more fat in it that's for sure and so that will help with keeping their body fat levels up and keeping them especially warm in, in cold times like this but meat is also good at the end of the day they they need meat and they need that protein and mom's milk you know is always reliant and, and the nutrient level is reliant on what she's feeding on so if she's not feeding well then the milk is probably not going to be too good but when she's feeding well the, her milk and her nutrients is better for these little cubs and they will end up with a situation where they can you know get a lot more nutrients out of the milk but i suppose meat tastes nice and they want to eat meat and so it's instinct to go there and feed off that and also mom's going to slowly but surely wean them off and make sure that they actually are no longer on the milk but rather on the food which is still going to be a while and it'll probably be another three four months until they weaned completely but i suppose meat is fairly tasty because they're absolutely going at it at this stage so cute though oopsie careful don't fall over <laughs> so a number of you are wondering if there is always only been two cubs or if there's been three and as I've suggested many times this morning that there is only two now there were three so unfortunately one has disappeared and one is no longer with us um, it seems as though from what I can gather it disappeared around a massive dam on the southern side of elephant plains it's called big dam and big dam has a big crocodile in it and i think these little one of them must have just drifted too close to the water and the crocodile must have got it they said it was there in the in the afternoon and the next morning there was only two after they had been at that dam and had spent the day at the dam drinking and, and messing around and so i think one of them unfortunately drifted a little too close and got nabbed by a crocodile it's not the first time i've heard of crocodiles going after little lion cubs it happens regularly um i've seen it down on the sabi river a lioness carrying her cub across the river and a crocodile snatched her cub right out of her mouth so it does happen and it is a thing that does you know is part and parcel of life and it's why Karula and a lot of the leopards teach or taught their cubs to try and stay away from water and even the Inkahumas you'll remember sighting with Brent where the female kept grabbing the little one and moving it away from water trying to teach it that water is not a safe thing and that they need to be careful and there would have been a valuable lesson learned for the remaining two unfortunately it would have come at a price for the others or well, the other one should I say It's amazing actually just to watching them though. They almost 
don't seem to know where they want to actually feed. They're kind of trying to just find anywhere where they can get their mouths in and, and get a little bit of food. And they're not like other, you know, older lions that will know exactly what little bits they want and little cuts they want to try and find. It's a little different with these guys. They're kind of trying to work their way around. And you can see, look how strong that is already. I mean, that cub is lifting a leg that probably weighs as much as it or if not more and it was actually lifting it up and kind of rolling it so even at this age they already are getting very powerful and that games that they've been playing with these older siblings those kind of things are all going to be helping them to strengthen up and end up getting a lot bigger and a lot healthier and, and stronger and be able to then defend themselves come the time later in life. Paul, yes, if, if the sub-adults got too rough and one of the, the little cubs let out a squeal, you'll find mom will probably come in and chase them off and growl and hiss at the sub-adults. I don't think it'll ever try and attack them, but it'll definitely stand between them and, and chase them off. And the sub-adults know if mom comes in here and mom starts growling and hissing, that it's time to back off quickly and get away from them. So she will, you know, at some stages, if it gets too rough, intervene. But for the most part, it's it's important that sh these little ones bond with the sub-adults, that they spend time with them and learn a little bit more, you know, about being sort of playing. And, and those playing games will help with hunting later, with b developing strength, as I said, and just developing certain instincts on how to hunt and how to go after um, various food sources as well as to defend themselves later in life so it's important that they do play those games and that they play amongst each other but obviously if it gets a little out of hand then mom will step in and just make sure that her little ones don't get too hurt but how cute is that face they are very sweet these little ones certainly happy to have breakfast by the looks of things now they don't have the dental structure just yet to really shear off big chunks of meat you'll find they'll use their tongues a lot and lick a lot of this meat off and then they'll also pull little bits with those little incisors and try and get chunks like that at the end of the day they, they, their nationals are not really that well developed to be able to slice off big chunks just yet but it'll get there eventually little one have you had enough now both of you is it time to rather go cuddle with mom it's too cold by themselves and look, kind of shoving each other around a little bit as well. It is super sweet. It's almost as if they don't know quite what they want to do, is where they want to eat, how much they want to eat, and whether or not they want to go back to mom. I think that one's decided, nope, I'm going to head back to where mom is or play with a branch or something like that. 